All right, guys, this is... <clears throat> All right, sussy fuckers. This, this is uh, YouTubers who have spent time in jail or prison. I wonder if I made the list. We'll find out. These are 10 YouTubers who have spent time behind bars. Yeah, which one is which? Jail is uh, jail is one, the one you just kind of go to for a little while. Prison is the one you go to for a long time. That's how I look at it. All right. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Bars. And we're going to list them from three hours in jail to 50 years in prison. Beginning Whoa. With Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon. Who is Sam Pepper the guy who faked his death or something and as a prank? Who was that? Tell me who that is. We got arrested together for the dumbest reason imaginable. Whoa, probably docking. If you don't know what that is, don't look it up. Back in mid-2018, Sam and Ice had the genius idea of hiding in a purple wooden Fortnite llama on wheels. Ah, the old uh, Trojan the old Trojan llama. They could sneak past security into VidCon, where they'd stay and film a 24-hour overnight challenge. Everything wow. seemed to be going well in the it's beginning, as Sam and Ice cruised into the convention whilst filming and laughing at security through a little peephole. However, the two seemed to forget that they were live streaming to thousands of- The second they said that they were live streaming, I- you guys are idiots. People, and it would only take one call to VidCon to have their whole plan shut down. This call would happen less than 10 minutes after getting inside, <laughs> which was followed by security and police walking straight up to them before they'd be arrested. No, but this is super smart because, like, there's no way that they didn't know that security was going to find out. These are, like, I besides a big streamer. He's like, let's sneak in. He's live streams a whole thing. He gets, to, he gets to be like, I was going to do this whole thing. He gets in there and they like, oh, never mind. We're pulling, we're pulling you out. <laughs> Step out. Yeah. Because there's no way they were going to try to stay in there, or unless they were going to get out of the horse and run around for 24 hours, because that's so uncomfortable. What is all this? The two were taken back to the police station, banned from VidCon for life, and given a notice to appear in court, which eventually resulted in a further two years probation, $100 wow. in fine. That's it, 100 bucks? And 80 hours of community service. What'd they do for their community service? Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon's arrest were short-sighted <laughs> and idiotic. However, it still wasn't as stupid as the time Logan Paul was sent to jail. So I was, I was arrested. I'm a YouTuber that got arrested. I don't know how you, I didn't make the list just because I only currently have, I think, 16,900 subscribers because of my restart. That doesn't mean I'm not a YouTuber. So years ago, I was actually, uh, I was arrested. And what happened was I was at my girlfriend's house at the time and I parked, I parked in front of her house, right? But I parked in front, like, here was the end of their, it was weird, like, overlapping the next person's property. So that person came over one time and asked me, can you not park there? And I'm like, whatever. I ignored them because I, it's, I'm on the street. So I did that a couple times. And then one day he comes over and he's screaming at me. I told you not to park here. I said, I'm on the street. Doesn't matter. And he's yelling and screaming in my face. He's a little guy too. He's very short in stature. And I'm a big guy. I'm six foot four. And he's screaming at me, wagging his fingers in my face. So I gently push him. And he flew off of the, st the step. All the steps, the stoop. It was a stoop. And he, f he didn't even touch a step. My light push. Light. He went all the way down, did a barrel roll backwards, and came up, looked at me like the angry red M&M, and he ran away. Um, the next day, the police came, and they're like, are you a uh, Papa Gut? And I was like, how do you know? It's 10 years before I made my TikTok. And uh, they, they arrested me. They were really nice. They gave me two pairs of handcuffs because I'm morbidly obese, and we talked for a bit. Um... And ultimately, I got a really good lawyer because I was a, I'm an Eagle Scout, and so it was the it was the mother of one of the the the, the youngins that I was in the troop with, and uh, she got me off with an ACOD, which means that I legally don't have to tell anybody that I've ever been arrested because legally I haven't been arrested legally. So that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, baby. For a whole day, because it's the truth. That's why. I remember I went to court. My mommy went with me. She drove me to court this morning. I went to court with a suit on. 
I was looking prim and proper because I'm. I, listen, I'm an I'm an outstanding member of of the society. I was an Eagle Scout. I'm, I have a full time job. Or I think I was working part time at that time. I'm going to school, but I'm working. I'm contributing. I go to school. Some woman, some fucking trashy ass woman, is like, "Oh, look, he's got a suit on and his mommy with him." It's like, "You're damn right." And you know what, bitch? I didn't go to fucking prison, so I don't know what you want me to tell you. By the way, I think it was self defense. This motherfucker was screaming in my face. I should have knocked him the fuck out. I don't even know how the fuck I got that much time. It's something about short men sometimes. that they just It's something about me being a tall guy that people want to challenge me. I don't understand it. It's annoying. After getting arrested in Italy. It happened back in 2017 when Logan was in his obnoxious vlogger phase. All right. <laughs> prior to the arrest, Logan's group had disrespected Italian norms, gotten kicked out of hotels, and had filmed locals without their permission. I hate this type of content. It's just like annoying, like obnoxious troll content. So by the time the group made it to Italy's famous. Is Eagle Scout like a national service? Uh, I don't know if it's a national service, it's like an organization. The, the Boy Scouts originally was created to be like a precursor to the military and obviously it's not even close to that anymore but they teach you survival skills now it's basically a precursor to the JROTC we're not as cringe we're not as cringe as the JROTC I've never gone you're looking at a future military service member Coliseum, they were bound to get into trouble. Logan began by stating that he knew flying a drone over the Coliseum was illegal. I understand uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that. However, after putting ah. the drone in the air anyway, the military were able to capture it. I found it. Ellipsis. The military has it. And Logan was arrested shortly thereafter. Good. Fly of a drone yeah. in these... This one is more reasonable to arrest. The area is illegal. No way. Bueno. We must uh, arrest you for this. Okay. After being released from jail later that afternoon, Logan was straight back to his idiotic self. Yo, I'm a savage, bro. Bring my boy Logan. Ah! You can't stop Logan. Ah! And if anything, I think that they should have just given him the death sentence at that point. They should have just ha like hanged him in a forest, made their own suicide forest because holy fuck, he's obnoxious. And yes, hanged is the correct form of that word to hang somebody. Okay. I learned that from my English teacher. That was a joke. Seem proud of what had happened. I went to jail, bro. I went, I've been in jail, bro. While Logan did have to spend a full day behind bars, his punishment wasn't. Why? Why are they? Why? Bro, what's happening here? I, I've been in jail, bro. While Logan did. What's ha Are they rapping to this fucking old grandma that's like crying? Like, what's happening here? Have to spend a full day behind bars. <laughs> Are they harassed? What's happening? Are they doing nice things for her or are they doing bad things for her? What's happening now? His punishment wasn't nearly as bad as Sniper Wolves, who after being charged with armed robbery, had to spend more oh, nice jail. They should have taken her arms and we wouldn't have to watch her horrible TikTok reaction videos. It happened- Hey guys! <laughs> Back in 2013, before Sniper Wolf became a big YouTuber, and the incident was explained in a video appropriately titled My Jail Story. She explained that while right. shopping at a department store, she was asked by security to check- Hello friends, it's me, and today we are checking- Hey out guys, it's me Sniper Wolf. I got 2.6 million views in this video, and I still can't get a decent microphone. Some things that I learned on TikTok. Loaf pan, why not? May I be shoving it in and it looks ugly? Oh, you're supposed to fold it on the outside and then put it on the inside. Oh, that is genius. This is what people think of my content, so I guess I can't really criticize. But come on, compared to that, give me a break. <laughs> bag. Yet since Sniper Wolf didn't want this to happen, she pushed the security guard and Wait, she was asked by security to check her bag. Yet since Sniper Wolf didn't want this to happen, Except she King Super Shattered five dollars. Yeah. How the hell has natural selection not caught up with YouTubers Logan Paul? He's white, bro. <laughs> if if Logan Paul was black, Destiny would have been all over that motherfucker, and he would be canceled immediately. But unfortunately. He's one of the brothers. Wait, we can't call them brothers or brothers. What, what do they call white people? One of the members. <laughs> He's one of the members. So we don't criticize one of the members. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, what was it? What was happening here? Robbery. Arm spent robbery. Multiple nights in jail. Okay. It happened back in 2013 before Sniper yeah. Wolf became a big YouTuber, cool. and the incident was explained in a video appropriately titled "My Jail Story." Cool. She explained that while shopping at a department store, she was asked by security to check her bag. Yet, since Sniper Wolf didn't want this to happen, she pushed the security guard and ran back to her car. He stopped me. Asked for. Isn't armed robbery when you do something with like a weapon? My bag and pulled it from me. I didn't know what to do. I just ran away and got in my car. Sniper Wolf seemed confident that she didn't actually have any. So just so you guys know, what you do when the security tries to stop you is you just you stop and you let them check your bag. Who cares what is armed robbery? I f isn't that with a gun? Uses wait aggravated form of theft that involves the use of lethal weapons to perpetrate. <laughs> she didn't get. She did much more than that. 
anything in her bag. I didn't even steal anything and I had no proof I did. Yet under the assumption that she was running because she'd stolen something, Snowwolf was arrested later that day. They took me to the police station jail, they took mugshots, and they asked us a ton of questions. She was then charged with armed robbery. I was charged with armed robbery. How? They said it wasn't official charges, they could just pretty much charge us whatever they want right now. Before Bro, either she's absolutely telling the truth or Sniper Wolf, somebody threatened to expose her, so she decided to get out in front of it or something. And, like, there's no way she got armed robbery for just running away. There's no way. Like, whatever. I'm not saying cancel or anything. Like, you know, she did, I guess she did her, she did the time, did the crime, did the time and all that. But, like, bro, get out of here with this lie. You're a liar. Before she'd be sent to a larger jail complex, where she remained for three days before being released. I was in jail for almost three days. Yeah, this would. Hey, good thing there were no. Good thing we didn't have any trans women back then, or, or she might have got pregnant. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't be the last time that Sniper Wolf ended up behind bars, because Ooh. three years later, Sniper Wolf would take to Twitter to make a new post reading. So neighbors called the cops because they heard screaming, and I got arrested for disorderly conduct. Lol, at my mugshot though. Bro, that's impossible. There's no way I would have been arrested for screaming. I was just screaming in the first segment. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the cops are maybe the, maybe the, my neighbors are just fucking cool they're like yeah he's it's just that guy screaming it's all right it's okay maybe they're viewers maybe one of them is z king yeah this post was followed by a video simply titled arrested in which sniper wolf explained that she'd been taken to jail for the night after getting into a petty fight with her boyfriend so of course I, uh, do, um, um i don't know she got arrested for disorderly conduct it must have been a little bit more than that i was screaming i was screaming i got arrested for disorderly conduct Damn. I'm not trying to be that guy, but do you think that was a little bit more than just disorderly conduct? It was a one-sided physical altercation between her and her boyfriend, but maybe the police downplayed it a little bit. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that it happened. I'm just saying, though, that, you know, sometimes those, you know, I sometimes male domestic abuse survivors, you know, sometimes maybe they don't get the representation that they deserve. They're men. It's like, oh, look at this a weak woman yelling at him. He could just stop her. But, you know, it's not right. I'm not saying that's what happened, but I mean, if you were yelling loud enough to go to jail for disorderly conduct. Oh my God. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. And, and you know what? That's all speculation. Just throwing it out there. You know? Yeah. Apparently you're not allowed to scream in your own house. And while it definitely feels <laughs> like Snipe Wolf isn't telling the full yes, story can. about both of her jail terms, for sure. there's definitely no missing details for the next YouTube. His very blue eyes. But, who was sentenced to 15 months in prison for... I mean, her boyfriend was a big guy. Yeah, but that that's what I'm saying. So, like, if she was, and I'm not saying that she is, but if she was a little too rowdy, if he fights back, he could hurt her, and then he goes to jail. You know what I'm saying? Playing a prank on a homeless person. Back in oh, based. Harassing people, potentially, with either substance abuse issues or some kind of intellectual or developmental disability or some kind of uh, trauma, PTSD, some kind of... That's what we should be definitely making fun of. 17, a Spanish creator with over a million subscribers called Whoa. Reset thought it would be a good idea to take the filling out of an Oreo, replace it with toothpaste, and give it to a homeless person. Why? What's funny about this? I would do the same thing, except I would take the bag and then just fucking punch you in the face. <laughs> Why a homeless person? Why are you harassing these dudes? Okay? You know, at least nowadays, the way that we troll homeless people is we give them money for free and, like, record their reaction. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, you know, you don't have to record it, but at least they're not giving them fucking Oreo, Oreo, toothpaste Oreos. Despite stating that the toothpaste-filled Oreo would help the homeless man clean his teeth, the community began... That's not. You're not supposed to eat toothpaste. I think it's bad for you. It's sick. Had to destroy Reset, creating a 125,000 signature petition to have his channel deleted. <laughs> the video by Auron Play titled Reset, the most Good. stupid on internet. See, this is this is a real problem. This is a guy that's like that's berating. That's basically harassing a homeless person. That's probably homeless for either a mental health issue um, or some kind of like a lot of substance abuse issues. A lot of time. This is really bad. And nowadays, what are we what are we shitting and coming about? Somebody said somebody's name. I mean, come on, bro. This is some fucked up shit. You know what I mean? This is terrible. He deserves to at least be like. How do you even think that that type of content is appropriate? It's crazy. However, Reset's worst punishment was still yet to come, as after the homeless man's daughter noticed the backlash on the internet, she'd take legal action against the YouTuber and Reset ended up in court. <laughs> noted that it was not an isolated event, and the social media star had a propensity for cruel behavior and preying on easily or vulnerable victims. She found him guilty of violating the man's moral integrity. Good. Reset was sentenced to 15 months in prison and was ordered to pay 20,000 euros to the homeless man. Good. 
you know what's unfortunate though is that there shouldn't be homeless people like obviously but like we really need to figure that out you know deal with like robust issues like deal with homelessness problems especially since it does disproportionately negatively impact men right you know what i mean race that also received a five-year ban from all social media see that's what people people like um People, I hate when people, I say this a couple of times, but like, I hate it when people go uh, like, oh, why did you give that homeless person beer, right? So like, oh, sometimes I'll go to like 7-Eleven, someone's like, yo, bro, can you get me some food? I'll be, bro, what do you, what do you want? Do you just want food? And, he's, and I've had them be like, no, man, I kind of want beer. And oh, 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 so you're feeding into their addiction? Bro, they're homeless. Like, I can't fucking fix them in a day. Like, I just, I get them whatever they ask for. That's what I do. When I'm at a fucking 7-Eleven, somebody's like, can I have this? I just get it for them because I don't know what the fuck they're going through. And whether they have this beer right now or not, it's not going to change a goddamn thing. We need to get these motherfuckers off the streets and some help. But me giving them a hot dog and a fucking water and a beer is not, I mean, like, I don't know what you want me to tell you, bro. They're they're living, it's literally like it's fucking 20 degrees outside and you're going to fucking virtue signal about a goddamn beer. Like, it's fucked, bro. What do you want me to do? I, I, you know what I mean? Get them some food, get them a drink, get them some alcohol. It's not ideal. I'm not happy about it, but that's life. People are going to shit about that. This guy's giving people fucking Oreos filled with toothpaste. It's crazy. You know? Uh, with this sentence commencing in June 2019, meaning he'll be able to return to YouTube in June 2024, although certainly with a downtrodden reputation. Beamscore was another million plus subscriber channel who managed to land themselves in prison, although for an even longer time than Reset. Ooh, the two doing? owners of the family channel, Billy and Eva, were often seen on social media. Are they like brother and sister? With luxury cars and extravagant homes. Ooh. And it turns out that not all of their money had been made through their YouTube channel. Oh, because on the 23rd of February 2020, they'd upload a video titled We Kept This a Secret Long Enough, We Were Arrested, no. <laughs> in which they'd explain that they had a court date for an unspecified charge okay we were arrested and we have a very important thing we have a sentencing date that will change our lives forever for the good or for the bad a month later okay. it was revealed that the couple were being accused of identity theft and defrauding the government having accessed or attempted to access social security accounts belonging to over 1400 different individuals without the victim's knowledge or authorization Holy fuck, dude. Ho what the fuck? Stealing identities to, you know, to make money. That was my hustle back then. I knew what I Nah, don't call it a hustle. A hustle's a good thing. When you say something's a hustle, that's like a good thing. Like, oh, I'm on my hustle right now. I'm on my grind. You know, you're on your hustle when you're working two jobs. You're on your hustle when you're you're going into like fucking staying outside grocery stores, like trying to do shit, like sell something. You know, you're selling whatever the fuck it is that you're trying to sell. It, it, it's not a hustle to steal most likely old people's social security numbers so that you can steal their identities and steal their money. You're not you're not on a fucking hustle. You're a scum. You're scum fucking garbage. That's what you are. All right. Hell, I'll even accept selling drugs as a hustle. Because at least you're both, at least there's two, there's two consensual parties, even though it's not ideal at all. But you want to talk about stealing people's identities as a hustle? Mm -mm. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's some loser shit. What I was doing was wrong, but yeah, selling weed. That's whatever. Hunt your hustle, bro. Honestly, I like whatever. I don't care. This guy's stealing people's identities. But it was just I needed a way to make money. A couple explain. Oh, good job. And that all of this. This had happened five years prior to beginning YouTube, although this didn't seem to matter to the judge, who sentenced the couple to three years in prison. I That's got two it. years, and you've only got one year. I got a year and a day. She has a year and a day. As well as Damn, why'd she only get a year? Order them to pay back the $94,000 that they had stolen. Wow. In true family channel fashion, they then used their time in prison as clickbait for content, yet this behavior wasn't nearly as bad as Russian YouTube. <laughs> and that's the hustle. They they went to jail, they paid their time, they paid the money back, and now they have more content to make out of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a gr that's on your hustle, bro. <laughs> okay. YouTuber Ruslan Sokolovsky, who was sentenced Whoa. to three and a half years in prison for playing Pokemon Go in a church. There's no way that this guy went to prison for three years. Is Sokolovsky, who was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for playing Pokemon Go in a church. I mean, how else are you supposed to get that fucking Mewtwo, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how else are you supposed to catch that? In early I never, I didn't play Pokemon Go. It required too much moving. August 2016, Sokolovsky filmed a video of himself catching Pokemon in Yekaterinburg's Church on Blood. The video stirred up a controversy among believers while a criminal case was initiated in accordance with the Russian Criminal Code's no articles, way. citing incitement to hatred and enmity, denigrating human dignity, as well as violating the right to freedom of conscience and religion. The alleged crime, playing Pokemon Go inside an Orthodox church. Was that really all? What the fuck was a slot machine Right back to there? freedom of conscience and religion. The alleged crime, playing Pokemon Go inside an Orthodox Bro, these look like slot machines. What the fuck? Oh, he looks like these are like deities or something. Okay. Orthodox Church. Sokolovsky shared a YouTube video that showed him playing the smartphone game. His video went viral and prompted a police investigation. Offic hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. America so bad, so weak. Gay and military, so bad. No freedom. Pokemon Go in a church gets you arrested. Okay, guys. You know what? America's terrible. Russia's the best. Putin on a fucking horse. Putin on a bear. Uh, you know, Russia's the best, guys. Right? That's This is the side you're rooting for. This stupid asshole. And listen, I don't think you should be going into a church playing Pokemon Go. It's disrespectful. You know? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. But at the same time, 
He only got two years? What do you mean he only got two years? He got two years. They should have just kicked him out of the church and said, don't come back. That's crazy. Yeah, he's trying to catch that ghost type. <laughs> That's why he, he went in there to catch Jesus Christ as a ghastly, and they fucking kicked him out of the church. <laughs> Official said the video was one of many by the young blogger that questioned or criticized the church. In May 2007. Oh, shit, he questioned the church. Official said the video was one of many by the young blogger that questioned or criticized the church. Okay, so it was more than just this. So it seems like he would routinely question this church and criticize it. Oh, no. In May 2017, approximately one year after posting the Pokemon Go video, Roslyn was handed a 3.5 year suspended prison term. Why? And while his 500,000 subscriber YouTube channel is pretty much Why? dead these days, he's still yet to spend any time behind bars. Jens the Beast had a harsher sentence than- So he, so he didn't. So he didn't go behind bars. That's what you're telling me. Okay. Okay. That's good. Gotcha. And was handed a 3.5 year suspended prison term and while his 500,000 subscriber YouTube channel is pretty much dead and it criticized the church. In May 2017, approximately one year after posting the Pokemon Go video, Rosalind was handed a 3.5 year suspended prison term and while his 500,000 Does that mean you don't go to jail? subscriber YouTube channel is pretty much still dead bullshit. these days, he's still yet to spend any time behind bars. Jens the Beast had a harsher sentence than anyone else on this list so far. He's very scary looking. Uh, although he was actually able to use YouTube to improve his reputation after getting out of prison. Jens the Beast explained that his life began to spiral out of control following the death of his mother at the age of 24. Damn. He was sent to prison for the first time back in 2009. After Bro, 5%, baby! Following the death of his mother at the age of 24. He was sent to prison for the- Hey, 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 hey. Let me tell you something. 5%. Rest in peace to the GOAT. Rich Piana, the absolute legend. Okay. I didn't like that he smacked around Jason Genova, the absolute pissing, sickening, pissed Sith Lord. But rest in peace to him nonetheless. 5%, baby. 5%. Rest in peace, bro. For the first time back in 2009, after getting into an altercation with a nightclub bouncer, yet after finishing this first prison stint, he was sent back two more times, totaling four years spent Damn. behind bars. During what did he go to the jail for the first time for? Uh, yet after he was sent to prison for the first time back in 2009 after getting into an altercation okay. with a nightclub bouncer. Gotcha. Yet after finishing okay. this first prison stint, he was sent back two more times, totaling four years spent behind bars. Isn't that sad, though? I mean, like, this guy's obviously doing the wrong thing, but, like, this guy was going through some mental shit, and he went to jail the first time or prison, and that's where they should have helped him with some kind of counseling, but we're so behind on our shit, bro. During his final stint, Jens made the decision to get his life together. The last prison sentence that I got, I used a lot of my time finding myself with cognitive therapy and anger management, stuff like that, so I cleared yeah. up my mind, decided that I'm not going back. And after being released from prison, he launched his own coaching program before joining Rich Piano's 5% Nutrition yeah! program, and with the assistance of YouTube and Instagram. Good for him, man. Jens was able to turn his life around completely. Less than three years ago. Bro, like honestly, that's the power of like really getting into working out, man. You ever look at like Louis Simmons' uh, West Side Gym? Those guys are all fucked up, but they that the gym makes them better, you know? I was released from prison. And now I got two companies going, working with clients all over the world and doing expos and got so many fans and followers. So just, I'm really, really grateful. However, while Jens is certainly one of the scariest looking people on the platform, his four years in prison still seems minor when compared to Saucy and Honey, who are facing oh, a seven shit. year sentence for a YouTube prank. This may have been fun for those YouTubers, What's but the tonight prank? they're facing some serious felony charges and up to seven years in jail. In February 2000. 22 the 25,000 subscriber channel posted that's it the video titled 20 oh then me too i guess four hour overnight challenge in target we are about to spend oh my goodness that's a that's a, that's a woman's wet dream <laughs> 24 hours in fucking target oh my god the fucking floors would be soaked if it was my wife there women love target that's the joke young men just so you know i don't know why it's a fucking anomaly to me i don't get it but target's a good date go to target Bring your girl to Target. It's not bad. The night in Target. Overnight. We're going to spend overnight in Target. After introducing the video, the two would hide in the store and wait for it to close. Target. And then walk around filming themselves before walking out in the morning, stating that they had been there all night. We successfully completed our overnight challenge in Target. I would just lie. I'd pretend I was in Target all night. Did they show them in but Target? But then walk no, around. We completed oh our God. overnight challenge in Target. The video went up like any other. However, the couple was arrested after the video was watched by police. Of course. They have to. Because here's what happened. Excuse me. Okay. So they broke into Target, basically. Now, I'm assuming, that, I'm assuming if they got hurt, they, Target might be liable. Potentially. I don't really know. Because they, they didn't do a proper check or something. I don't really know. But either way, if you don't do something active against them, that's just going to encourage more people to break into Target and stay the night. 
So West Whiteland police saw the video and arrested Johnson LaRose and Charlotte Fisher for criminal trespassing and conspiracy. Criminal Ooh. trespass was a felony in the third degree. They're not they're not entitled to be there, um, so th which makes it a crime. Not only did the news expose their challenge as fake, using security camera footage which showed them leaving the store at 3 a.m., but after being arrested, the two were charged Ooh. with criminal trespass. Wait, it was fake? Great. They're not they're not entitled to be there, um, so th which makes it a crime. Not only did the news expose their challenge as fake, using security camera footage which showed them leaving the store at 3 a.m., but after being arrested, so, like, how did they get in there? Did they did somebody actually let them in, or did they still break in? They just left there. The two were charged with criminal trespassing, conspiracy, and are now facing up to seven years in prison. Damn. However, seven years is still nothing oh, when compared to Wes Watson, whose ten years in prison acted as a base. This is fucking Andrew Tate Volume One. For him to become a multi multi millionaire. Now, Wes was already a millionaire prior to entering prison. However, this money had been earned via illegal activity and would nice. therefore also become the reason for his time behind bars. Course, After ten right. years in the California prison system, Wes decided that he was ready to get his life together. And instead of taking on a normal post-prison job, he instead created a YouTube channel titled GP Penitentiary Life Wes Watson, where he began to tell stories about what prison was really like. His ideal prison-like image helped all of his videos to explode in popularity. So I went on that YouTube channel and it blew up. Every video got millions of views. I got 100,000 subscribers in 28 days. And with his physique Damn. also being in a very enviable position from his time away, Wes sold fitness programs and coaching via his social media channels. Wes also put out a book and only three years after being released from prison, Wes had once again become a multi-millionaire. That's why I've been able to make my Myself a millionaire and stay fit this quick three years after doing 10 years in prison that's probably because it's you're in prison that's all you really got is to work out right right everybody told me wes get a real job like how are you going to support a family online coaching ha! which accompanied a whole new series of videos in which wes preaches the importance of good habits in the most brutally honest way possible you will have zero value in your life zero Man. worth if you don't put the work in if you crack that bottle and think it's going to do it massive downside hey look at me i'm having so much fun we know how you look in the morning throwing up in the toilet looking at your bank account all however while prison hey base dude I like this guy. This is a true high value male. He's talking against going to the clubs and drinking alcohol and getting fucking sloshed, bro. I respect it. True high value male teaching these young men real ethics, okay? Enough of this fucking garbage of going to the clubs. Blah, blah, blah. Led Wes Watson to become a successful motivational speaker for the final YouTuber on our Shit. list. I thought the other guys were scary. This is the scariest looking dude ever. He looks like fucking Mark Zuckerberg. The opposite happened, and being a motivational speaker led him into prison. Oh. He was a Mexican YouTuber by the name of Germán Loera MX, and as mentioned previously, he was known for posting motivational and business content to his channel with over 5,000 subscribers. It's not a lot, but okay. However, yeah, instead of engaging in legitimate business practice, Germán instead- Where do you find some of these guys? ...decided to make money by kidnapping someone and holding them for a $100,000 ransom. What? Two days after doing so, he was caught by police and was sentenced to 50 years in prison where he remains to this day. What? He kidnapped people? That's incredible. That's just incredible. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face. But just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face. 